if people aren't allowed to think, if they aren't allowed to dream, or if they aren't allowed to experience the wonder of things like live theater or music or art, we're doing them a disservice because then we're programming people. I'm such a butter boss. Well, my name is Rich Tolliver, and I have been on the board here since the new group took over, and I was on the board here when they bought the building in 1987. The Renner Theater is home to a group of thespians known as the Zane Trace Players. The group was formed when a conflict between the original Zanesville Community Theater troupe arose and a woman named Dorothy Renner led the way for a new troupe. And it really came down to a division between two groups. You had some people that wanted it to go one direction and some people that wanted it to go another direction. Um, and uh, so they just parted ways and uh, Dorothy and a group of people actually formed their own uh, theater group and called it Zane Trace Players. The name Zane Trace Players originates from the Zane Trace annual commemoration that took place from 1973 to 1997 in honor of the first road run through Ohio. Dorothy and her troupe would hold performances at the commemoration and raised money to help buy the building they now call home. The building was built back in 1924 as a synagogue and later became a black gospel church. The Zane Trace Players didn't call this place home until 1987. The board of Zane Trace Players at the time, uh, we came and looked at the building and it was revamped considerably. I remember, you know, help tearing out the baptismal font and the altar and things that were here and uh, that area and uh, this stage was built. Uh, all, there were 20 some miles of wire ran in this building for lighting and electrical. After years of shows and directing, Dorothy Renner retired from running the theater and passed down her torch in 2010 to a new board. Dorothy had gotten to the point where it was time to hang up her director's cap, if you will, and she had put this theater up for sale. And she called me up one day, and Dorothy's rather blunt, if you will, and she comes right to the point. And she said, well, the reason I'm calling you is I wanted to give you my theater. Since 2010, the new board has kept Dorothy's theater alive by putting on numerous productions ranging from plays and musicals. Such shows include The Addams Family Musical, A Midsummer Night's Dream, <laughs> Lysander Riddle is very friendly. Burger Town, And Wizard of Oz. It's good to be free. <laughs> All members of the theater, both staff and cast, are volunteers who work for free. They dedicate numerous hours and days working hard to put together a production. I had a chance to sit down with board member and director Bruce Revenant and talk about why he volunteers and his hopes for the theater. Why volunteer for free and do theater? Like, what is it about theater that compels you to? Want to do it for free? Well, theater is, is uh, it has to be a passion. If you do theater because you get paid for it, then it's an occupation. And I've never thought of, uh, of acting or theater work of any kind as being an occupation. It's uh, a passion. We do what we do because we want to do it. So for you being on the board of a community theater, what is your hopes of what are you trying to achieve, like being here, running a theater, for free? First of all, we want to do uh, productions of the highest production value so we can. And as part of that, we hope that we can uh, instruct and help growing actors. And you know our shows have, from little to old, in it, it's just part of the deal, that we're trying to encourage that kind of expression and growth. Uh, it's very important to us that individuals are feel safe, comfortable, and uh, enjoy, have feel joy at being here. 
Because if you're not, you know, then we've failed somewhere on the road, and we try never to do that in this respect. Even though the theater is volunteer, new members still join to be a part of this growing family. The Renner is not only a theater, but it is home. Thanks to Dorothy Renner, there's a community of thespians who are inspiring, loving, and keep the dream going.